My father ran some bike shops when I was young, so I, I rode a lot. Later on, I just got a job at Dick's Sporting Goods, and I'd steal all the bike magazines and read all the articles about fixing bikes. And then I started working in bike shops and went to bike school, and it was more fun than the degrees I was getting, so I just uh, kept doing it. In downtown Akron, I'm trying to be the, the, the full service bike shop where you can buy a bike, get a used bike, get parts. Being a part of the community, it's for a pretty big city, it's, it's been like joining a fun, friendly neighborhood. The best bike path in Ohio is, is right across the street. It's um, a towpath, Ohio and Erie towpath. And then we also have the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad is right behind us. So you can come here, park, get some food, and then jump on the train for $5 with your bike and go all the way to Independence, Rockside Road, and then ride your bike back or anywhere in between. Well, I do service packages up on the wall here. I name them all with silly names. So we do like just a random little services, the quick and dirty, uh, just safety check to make sure nothing falls off. It's called Blessing. I have a tune-up where I kind of just do a little bit more than all the little tune-up packages I've done in the past. I call that the perfectly good enough. And I always do one thing, I call it a random nicety. If there's something on the bike that might not be in the tune-up package, but it annoys me or I'm like, man, they'd really like this. And so I just do it. And it could be something big, it could be something small. Put a sticker, but usually it's it's something more mechanical. But uh, uh, you know, it's just, it makes it more personal. And when you're fixing things, you're, you're being thoughtful and, and caring about what the, the rider is going through and not just, you know, turning bolts and taking money. Most of my focus is, is on larger tired bikes. You've got paved trails, you've got gravel trails, you've got dirt trails. You have freeze thaw pattern that makes the roads really, really rough. So both at the extreme enthusiast level where I want to go as fast as possible, bigger tires will make you faster and more comfortable. It's scientifically proven the little skinny tires are slower. It blows your mind, but it's true. And then for regular people, the bigger tire you have to a point makes it more comfortable. It's just a nice, simple, inexpensive bike that will last a long time. It rides like a pillow of air. You don't turn 18 and you have to be an adult. Like it's okay to still keep that kernel of playful, childlike fun in your life. And the bike, I think so many of us have just wonderful, deep down subconscious feelings with bicycles that we just did fun things. It was our first point of freedom. You went to the end of the street for the first time ever without your parents. And, and that comes back. You can still go right over that that bump where you can jump off the curb or you can go around that cool downhill or whatever. And one of the shop's core values is playfulness. And that playfulness and fun is a huge part of what I try to spread. Dirty River Bicycle Works. Look for the Sasquatch on a fat bike. <laughs>